Good day and greetings to the judges of Innotech 2020. My name is Timothy and today I'll be presenting my project of a sustainable way to organize car park in hospitals. During the development process of the project, sustainability was one of the main goals of the project. So my project can be considered sustainable due to, to the three following points. Clean energy was used to power up the projects from the Arduino board to the Raspberry Pi to the camera to the IR sensors as well as to the LEDs. All of them were powered up using electricity which is considered as a clean energy. The used components are affordable which means that individuals from low income group can purchase these components themselves and build up a system without any issues. And third and finally, the system can be implemented easily onto existing resources, for example, the car, uh, car parks in shopping malls, for hospitals, for office buildings, and many more. The technology shown in the project in terms of usefulness and industrial application, of course, are many, as cars are one of the main ways of transportation, but from office workers to students to lecturers and so on and so forth. So we need a facility to temporarily house all these vehicles and this car park system is perfect for that, especially in these current times. And it would also increase the efficiency. So in terms of time efficiency in looking for a car park, to stopping your car, running down the window, grabbing a ticket, all of that. So based on the demo that I'll show later, I'll explain it. Thank you. Now, I, as I've just mentioned, the commercial potentialities of this project are many, from hospitals to shopping malls to offices and restaurants. This is because the citizens of Malaysia as well as around the globe, as you can see in the US or Singapore especially, you will see that traffic congestion in, in the form of cars are many and they would need these type of facilities to be more efficient, to be more automated for easier processing and handling of the citizens who use this sort of car park facility. In terms of novelty and inventiveness, what my project does that separates it from the rest is that I have designed a contact-free method of parking. As you know, currently in the COVID-19 situation, people would have to wind down their windows, grab a parking ticket so the button may be unsanitized and whatnot. Then when they have to pay, use the machine, for the exit part as well, they will have to touch the machine, which may infect them as well. So the second point is that it uses simpler components to achieve similar results. So for example, the ESP32 cam that which I've purchased and used in the project, it's a much smaller camera, but it gives quite high definition pictures as well. So the project reduces machine presence in car park operations, especially in the entrance parts where you have a touch and go uh, cart machine as well as a ticket machine. The project can be easy customizable to switch to suit the situation of other office buildings and whatnot based on the client's requests. And the maintenance of this system is inexpensive as the components used are very cheap. The demonstration of my project on the left here is the camera setup. So as you can see here, a license plate example is pasted onto a surface as well as these two cameras here are placed in front of it. So this is the ESP32 cam which are facing the license plate. So this one here is the entrance and the other is the exit which is also the same model. Both of them can just be powered up by a power bank and connected to Wi-Fi. So on the right is the entrance. So as you can see here, the IR sensor is hooked up and then when the car is going through, it will detect the car and hooked up to the Arduino, which is then connected to the Raspberry Pi as the main interface computer and powered by a 5 volt power supply. To continue my demonstration, I will show you the overall car park setup, which is on the left here. As you can see here, this is the overall car park setup, which consists of five IR sensors for five parking spaces as well as the LED which is all connected to the Arduino board and powered by a power bank. On the right is the GUI IoT using things board and VNC viewer to look at the results from my Raspberry Pi. So as you can see here, this is my GUI. So on the top right corner would be my Raspberry Pi in VNC viewer and on my computer screen is the GUI things board, 
with entrances and exits as well as the relative information. To continue my demonstration, I will show you the four important Python scripts which I wrote to control the car park system. So on the left is the sensor activation, the main is the main image processing program, upload is for the car park entrance, and upload exit is for the car park exit. So this system works when the IR sensor at the entrance and exit detects a vehicle and uploads the relevant data onto the IoT dashboard. Now let's move on to a live demonstration of the entrance part. So as you can see here on the left, it is the there's a, when I run this program, it will run. And then as you can see here, there's currently nothing. It's not detecting anything, so it will print no car, no car, no car. So on the right, when I press, so when a car arrives, it activates the IR sensor, which then sends the information to the Arduino board. And then, voila, the, the information is seen, which is the image safe and the possible license plate, as well as the final one, as well as it will upload the data onto the the dashboard. So as you can see here, maybe I should refresh it a bit. So, so the data as you can see here in a short while, yep, so you see here we have published the data onto the GeoIoT dashboard with the entrance time, the number plate as well as the current status. Let's move on to the main car park. So as you can see here, once the vehicle has entered the main car park, when it reverse, it will detect the vehicle and then it will light up the LED. So this will be the main simple main car park system. So on the right here, we shall see. So just now when I tested it, I tested it for a few times. So there's a total of three entrance data. So now it's still detecting as you can see here, it's still no car, no car, no car, which means it's automated and running. So on the right, I will show you the exit activation part. So when the car leaves the car park, it will activate the IR sensor again. The IR sensor will again go through either Arduino and Raspberry Pi. And as we can see later in the GUI IoT dashboard using ThingsBot. So as you can see here in the VNC viewer, the, the data published will calculate the parking cost, the data as well as the duration of stay. So there, you can see on the car park exit side, you have the timestamp as the number plate, the price as well as the current time. So this time is similar to the time of exit. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. I will be now accepting any questions for the Q&A session. Thank you.